y'all. It's your man B Wade here. Uh, I remember like I had like major sexual issues like in kindergarten, dreaming of teachers in, in the wrong kind of way. And like when I was in the fifth grade, did this whole masturbation thing. It was it was weird. I closed the door and came in from school and locked the door and you know, I'm all ready to go and got my music playing and turned up loud and dreaming all these fantasies in my head and then it's time to get it on. And I think so many of us who uh, have struggled with masturbation, who go with masturbation and go through it, we all know that realistically it's not the most um, public thing that is done. You know, we make sure that the doors are locked and, you know, we turn off the lights and we wait to bedtime and we do all these things that are real secretive so that nobody knows what's going on, you know. We spend an extra 15 minutes in the shower because it's our quiet private time and we can do all of these things in our secret dark spots. You know, we order these videos and, and tools or whatever it is that comes in these brown boxes that are unmarked so nobody knows the, the sexual stuff that we're getting involved in. And when it comes to masturbation, it's not a public thing that we do. We keep it closed and locked up and we keep it on the private and on the hush. And so... Here's what here's the scripture that David uh, writes in the book of Songs, uh, 139, starting at verse 11. He said, I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night. But even in the darkness, I could not hide from you. To you, the night shines as the bright as day. Darkness and light are the same. He says, it doesn't matter how much I try to hide in the darkness. It doesn't matter how much I try to keep things all hush-hush. God knows. An extra 15 minutes in the shower or, or, or I check the lights to make sure that they're off and I lock the doors and make sure that the blinds are all, you know, closed up the right way to get involved in my sexual sin. He says, it doesn't matter how many lights you turn off, how many windows and blinds you check, how many doors you lock, how many phones you unplug, how you try to turn up the music to hide the sexual sins that we have and, and getting down to masturbation. He says, it doesn't matter how much you do those things because God literally sees everything that we do, whether in the darkness of night or whether the sun's shining, it's all the same to him. He's literally observing every action that we do, good, bad, visible, seen to everyone or unseen to anyone. He says he literally sees it. His eyes are open to it. It's pure, crystal clear vision for him. It's amazing to think that God sees us even when we think that we have sealed and shut out the world. That when we're in the midst of our masturbation or getting ready to get involved into our sexual sin, God says, I see crystal clear what you're doing and what you're about to do. It's kind of a, a wild feeling when you think about it. It's kind of a, oh my God, he's right there in the room. He sees everything. As much as I've tried to close the doors and tune the world out, to my little quiet time of sinful pleasure, he sees it. It's crystal clear to him. I don't know if that's comforting to anyone. It's a little, maybe embarrassing, a little bit frustrating. But I guess if there's any comfort you could draw from that, it's just to say simply that if God sees us in the midst of the sinful acts that we're about to commit, in the midst of our sexual sin that we're about to get involved with, then maybe it's possible that if God sees us, he hasn't left us. And if he hasn't left us, it's more than possible that he could save us or bring us out of, or we could run to a God that is ever present when we're not alone in the midst of what we feel we are alone in, our sexual sin, our struggle, our temptation, the desire that has seemed to overwhelm us and is calling our name, that even though we know what we shouldn't do, we're about to do it. But then there's encouragement to know that God is literally looking down at us and he's seeing everything that we do lets us know that he literally is right in our presence. And if we could ever just turn our hearts to God and say, God, you know, I'm about to get involved in something I have no business doing, but I know that you're here in this room. I know that you're looking and that you're observing everything is crystal clear to you and everything is crystal clear rescue me help me deliver me get me out of this situation give me strength not to do the very thing that I am desiring to do because you are here even though I feel alone and hurt and pain and sexual sin and ready to do things I have no business doing you are here give me 
Help. Are you really alone in the darkest moments? Or can God even deliver you out of moments when you're getting ready to get involved in stuff that you have purposely planned? He still can save and deliver. He still can answer your cries. That should be our heart. That should be our prayer.